Hi ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to give you guys a quick review before you take your quiz today on forces. And the two key forces we focused on this week were um, looking at friction and gravity. So last week was friction, this week was gravity. So first of all, what are forces? They're any push or pull or could even be a twist on an object. Okay, um, there are two main types of forces. There are contact forces and non-contact forces. So contact forces are where the two objects that are involved are actually touching each other. So that would be if something was actually pushing on something else or there was a pull like you were trying to play tug of war or um, could be air resistance if you were looking at um, something like your guys' parachutes. Um, examples of non-contact forces are when the two objects um, are not in contact with each other. And examples of that would be gravity, um, the force that happens between magnets, and static electricity. Okay, um, so uh, that leads us then to friction. Okay, so friction is a contact force. Okay, um, when we talk about friction, it's a force that it occurs um, when we look at the surface of an object and the surface, the surfaces that are in contact depend are relate to the strength of that force of friction. Okay, so friction is going to resist motion, or like this picture shows down here, okay, um, it's acting in the opposite direction of motion. Okay, so the guy is pulling to the left, okay, friction is going to act to the right. So it's going to oppose or it acts in the opposite direction of motion. And what causes friction are little microscopic imperfections that are on those surfaces that essentially catch on each other. Um, there are also interactions between the molecules or the particles that compose those, those substances. So if you've got a block of wood in our table, like we did in our lab, hey, where we were looking at friction or between like the book and a table or between two books, hey, um, there are um, attractions due to the particles that make up those substances and those attractions kind of keep or pull those two substances together and resist their motion as well. So friction is caused due to those um, intermolecular forces and also due to imperfections, microscopic imperfections in the surface. Hey, um, what are the different types of friction? Hey, um, when we look at different types of friction, we've got um, friction that is related to um, static friction. Okay, so static friction is when the objects are not moving, like we see up here on the top left. Okay, this individual, while pushing really hard on that humongous rock, um, isn't making a dent in the motion of that rock. So that is called static friction, where the object, even though there's a force being applied to that object, um, the object is not moving. Okay. Um, otherwise, we're looking at friction that's involved when our objects are in motion. Um, so in the bottom left, um, we got one of Mrs. Ulmer's favorite activities, skiing. Okay. And that is an example of sliding friction, where um, the skis are sliding or slicing, really, along um, the surface of the ice and because this, or the snow. Um, and because the snow is smooth, Okay, um, and the, the skis can easily slide over that surface. And the design of the skis actually helps to reduce the friction. Um, that's why you get your skis waxed or your snowboard waxed okay, um, to also reduce the amount of friction. Um, there's also rolling friction like we see with this biker. Okay, um, so as the wheels okay, um, rotate, Hey, they come in contact with that bottom point. That means that there's less surface in contact with the ground, and that reduces the friction between the individual um, and the ground, and that allows the wheels to actually um, increase the motion of the individual. Um, and then we have fluid friction. And fluid friction, there is there are two examples of fluid friction. There's fluid friction related to water. Okay, um, so that fluid friction, like we see here with this um, crazy boat, um, and there's also air resistance. Okay, so air resistance is on, you know, is up in the air versus fluid friction okay, um, can also be in the water. Okay, 
Um, the, another name for air resistance is also called drag. Okay? Um, and it acts in the opposite direction. Air resistance acts in the opposite direction of gravity. So that leads us to our next topic. Okay, what is gravity? So gravity is an attraction between two objects that have mass. Okay, like we saw in our FET yesterday. Okay, we've got um, the force of gravity is F okay, times G, a gravitational constant, times the mass of one object, times the mass of another object, divided by the distance between those objects. So that's the equation related to gravity. What does that mean? That means that gravity is affected by two key things. It's affected by the mass of the objects, and it's affected by the distance between those objects. So it's just important to keep in mind that if the mass increases, the force of gravity will increase. And if the distance increases between the objects, the force of gravity will decrease. Okay, um, so those are the two key ideas related to the force of gravity. Okay, um, and hopefully that's a nice quick little recap of gravity and friction and forces before you take your quiz today. Good luck, everybody.